Now that we've gotten this far, we should be safe. He won't come in here. Everyone, thank you for your hard work. Rakuji, who are these people? Visitors. They have a permit, just like they're supposed to. A permit? Does that mean you have been instructed by His Majesty himself? Yes, he told us to come here. You have heard, then, that the rune, which had once been enshrined in this very place, is no longer here. In a distant past, the rune became all-consuming to the lives of those who were unfortunate enough to bear it. It gradually passed from master to master. And once everyone else around had died, it is believed that the sole survivor breathed his last sitting under this very tree. The cycle of tragedy apparently ended when he was turned to stone, and its powers were set free in this place. No, it cannot be. On your left hand? You have it? How? The rune of punishment, which was once here? So it really is. I can sense an aura about you that is similar to that of my late husband. Mom, Dad's alive. I just know it. Rakuji, you're such a thoughtful child. It was three years ago. My husband was traveling out at sea when he had an unfortunate accident. Someone there possessed the rune of punishment. Its host died in the accident, and the rune came to rest upon my husband, who had survived. Later that night, my husband disappeared. Why did he disappear, you ask? We searched in vain for the reason. Ultimately, our path led us here. Mom? I knew, of course, there's no chance that he would have survived for three years with the rune of punishment. Because the rune consumes its master's life, right? Yes. I must accept it. The fact that the rune is here now means that my husband is dead. Yes, he told us to come here. Yes, he told us to come here. You said the rune consumes its master's life? You mean because the rune consumes its master's life? 